Alrighty. There is a reference here and there's Sal. Let's place it in full first. Very cool. First thing I would do, uh, oh, this is very picky, but I tell this everybody, I would, oh, this seems like a, almost like a photo in the background here. Um, mainly because of the colors and everything with the lights and everything compared to this. I would just have that in terms of just blocks and things where it's just geometry kind of matching the style, unless at the very end you're going fully rendered with lights, all kinds of stuff. But I would keep that and that consistent in terms of style. It's very picky, but I tell everybody. Just, it's just to me, it's clashing. But I see a lot of people doing that online reels and things, so it's not something that's completely wrong. <laughs> just a personal preference for you to think about. Um, the other thing is, I like all of this generally. I think it's a cool idea. I think the line is great and the idea is great, especially with this coming in. My only thing is, um, and you're sending me this with reference that is taking up the screen left half of the shot. So, if that is gone, you're, you're, to me it feels like there's a, a massive imbalance in terms of how the whole thing is staged. I understand that you want this here to be small on the right side so that we have that hand as a surprise. But to me it would be, I personally would do this where she comes in and I like that look there. It's, again, it's a massive car, but then she's scaling it down a bit or having her maybe bigger in frame so that I know you want her to be also maybe crouched on and trying to hide but maybe the head generally will be maybe then maybe this big just giving her just a bit more room kind of filling this out for composition as well but generally what I would do again I like all of this just going through what I like here I like she comes in it's good action there and then she goes back eyes closed that's great taking out the phone talking and then having that on her face, she realizes what's going on. She might have a bit more of a look there. This feels like she's looking a bit above in reference. You're looking a bit more clear at the hands. And then waiting and getting ready. And then, ah, and that, that's great. The only thing I would do is that she's very, very static here. And I would give this a bit more contrast where she comes in. And she might go straight back to this. But when she takes out the phone and she starts dialing... In, I would personally have something where she starts to lean more to the left and all of this like this look again can be like she's almost maybe propping herself up with a stronger um, like an arm push to be higher so that she's a bit more uh, up there trying to see what's behind the car and then as she gets to maybe like this is the moment here where she's a bit more here and then after that, she starts to go back to the right to again to end up here where the hand can come in. Basically, she comes in like that, right? I would give this more movement like this, where she, she crosses more over into the left space of the screen. Mainly because she will come in here, go to the right, there's more movement, but you give this a bit more tension and contrast so that you have somewhere to go. For her to relax and we think it's okay meaning that she comes in like this right grabs the phone and there's a lot of head here head here moving around like a lot of movement like, to me more eye darts potentially so you have energy as she she if it didn't break this is empty here you imagine she comes in oh what's going on oh, oh okay 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 it's getting better okay please save me oh the hand is coming Versus right now, she comes in and we kind of stuck in this, stuck in this corner, right corner, right corner. The hand comes in. So that's kind of to me how it feels like she comes in here. And after that, we're stuck on that right side. Then it's kind of that. And we linger with a really massive amount of empty space on the on the left here, screen left. And then the hand comes in. So that's why I'm saying, what if she comes in here, goes around, goes back, grabs the phone, and then gets back up here. Maybe leans forward and has... like within this section lots of lots of movement head dart and just more more active panic so that when she is okay which again i will probably do around here ish like that's the moment where she is not concerned about the outside now she's concerned about herself like oh i'm hurt and this again would be where she's around here and then you can have her go from here 
to here slowly where you kind of manipulate the audience and give us a false sense of it's okay where the tension is gone where she's she's at the beginning higher she's at the highest point with her head looking around and then she can go down she can lean over everything is kind of giving us a false sense of it's okay i can rest where again the head goes lower and she stays there and then ba -ba, you can come with that surprise there i hope that makes sense um again i love your reference all this stuff is great the ideas are great the acting choices are great my main thing is that we're just spending so much time in this corner just the composition feels very imbalanced but i would use that space to advantage to give us more contrast and more energy and more more frantic panic so that we can go there and then relax like i said into this where we think it's now done and then this shows up all right i hope that makes sense uh if not let me know all right thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you